Hey everybody, it's Jen from Jen's Rack, and I am doing my 21 day sugar detox. And so here's my vlog. I'm on day nine. Um, sorry, it's taken me a while to get back. I know I think the last time I did it was day six on here, but um, I'm still in it. Sorry about the mess behind me. We are planning a move, and we've got everything out and packing, and ugh, it's crazy. Anyway, in other news this week, um, Charlie here, who is nine months today. He had, or actually tomorrow, I don't know why I think it's tomorrow already. Anyway, he will be nine months tomorrow. He started feeling bad on Sunday. I mean, you've seen it in some of the vlogs. And there's his little cough. Um, and so I had well checks for two of the kids on Wednesday. So I took him along and got him a sick visit. And apparently he has RSV. So we've been doing breathing treatments and he had a double ear infection. So we've been doing some colloidal silver in his ears for that. And, um, he was vomiting with the coughs. So anyway, luckily the puking has stopped. I'm happy about that. So I haven't really gotten a lot of sleep the last several days. And I think normally, um, I would have been very mean, like the mean mama bear screaming at everybody all the time. But I think that I've gotten a little bit better with that. And I think part of it has to do with the diet, honestly, because I don't have the peaks and, and valleys and, you know, whatever of having too many carbs all the time, like a sugar load constantly. So I think that that's definitely been helping. Um, he's copying me. He's copying mama. Is that what mama did? What the heck? I am crazy. Hi. So anyway, um, let me see. We've been eating all sorts of things. I've pinned some of it on Pinterest. Some of it, I've just sort of been winging it. I tried this recipe last night that was really good, and it was just ground pork and onion and a little bit of garlic, and then you cook that up. And then towards the end, you add in uh, chili, uh, like chili powder and cumin a little bit. Then you put like a handful of spinach in there. And cook that down till it's just wilted. And then you serve that. And so I served that. And then I served fruit on the side for my whole family. And that was all I had. I really wasn't that hungry. But then around, oh, I don't know, like 9.30, maybe 10, I started really wanting steak. And we don't have steak. I've never cooked steak. I mean, I cooked steak in the crock pot one time, actually. But other than that, I've never cooked steak. I don't know what I'm doing. But I looked it up online. And I found a wiki about how to cook steak in a saute pan. And so once the kids were down and the baby was doing all right, I went to Albertsons and picked up some steaks and I made them and they were so good. Mine was more like a medium rare because mine was a thicker steak. Um, but my husband's was just this huge, I mean, it was literally like this big and it was about an inch thick. And so his was about medium. So it was perfect. I seasoned it well, I guess. I don't know. I did an awesome job. Kudos to me. Pat on my back. But it really helped having that steak. It felt so good to eat that. Oh, I was loving it. I love steak. Now that I know it's not so scary to cook, I'll have to just do it more often. But I, they also had a bunch of meat markdowns while I was there. So I'm excited because they had like a split chicken fryer that is already seasoned. And I looked at the seasonings and it's all paleo friendly. So I got a couple of those. Some turkey legs. Got a couple of those and some pork chops. So that was exciting. And then I got an extra package of steak because I figured if I did well last night, I'd probably want more. And I do. So I went ahead and did that. Charlie, you can't touch the keyboard, baby. So far, so good. I am wishing that I could have sweets. Today I made some paleo pancakes, which are the vanilla pancakes, if you look on my recipes. And they were good, but they were kind of like you know, like you want something with it. Like I wish I had syrup or I wish I had honey. What I did do was I made the pancakes. I just had one pancake. There really was. I doubled the batch, but there was only enough for uh, Ross to have three, me to have one, and each of the kids to have two. So next time I'll have to triple the recipe so I can have extras or maybe even quadruple it so I can have some to put up for future meals. So we're going to make everybody dizzy. You're going to make everybody dizzy. Anyway, um, but what I did do was I put some butter on top and some mashed banana. So that worked, and it was palatable. It was fine. It was sweet, and it was good. But I really wish that I could have had something to, like, wet it because it was kind of dry. So I don't know. That was part of it, too. Another recipe I want to try is a, pa a pancake recipe with pumpkin. 
So I'll have to try that. I'm thinking that will probably be a little more moist coming out, so I won't crave um, something with it quite so much. Um, other than that, everything's been fine. So, so far so good. I haven't really had any symptoms or anything. But I better go because otherwise you're just going to hear screaming baby. So, sorry about that. I will keep you guys posted. Hopefully I'll be able to vlog tomorrow and go into a little more detail. But I'll talk to you guys soon. Thanks for following along. If you are doing the detox, I would love to hear what's going on with you. Or if you are eating paleo or primal, I'd love to hear your tips, recipes, advice, whatever. So, I'll talk to you guys later. Bye.